It's time for Triumph Church News. We're still going straight for eight. Are you? For eight straight weeks leading up to Easter Sunday, Pastor Kenlock is asking all Triumph Church members and friends to commit to attending one worship service and Bible study each week, giving tithes and offerings, and serving in a ministry. Show God you are serious about Him in the new year by attending, giving, and serving each week and go straight for eight. We passed the halfway point. 40 days of prayer and fasting as we declare war on the devil for attacking our children, families, relationships, finances, and health. And if you fell off or never started, it's not too late to jump in. We're there with you, praying that God does some miraculous things in your life. Check out triumphch.org 40 for information, recipes, tips, and more. Next Saturday, March 21st, Part 3 of the Morning Manna series, The Enemies of Excellence, Seven Reasons Why Men Sabotage Success. It happens on the East Campus at 9 a.m. A free full-course breakfast will be served, and Pastor Ken Locke will lead the real talk sessions just for men. More volunteers are needed. Saturday, March 21st is One Day with God when Triumph visits the Macomb Correctional Facility in New Haven to give incarcerated parents a day of fun to spend with their children. Crafts, games, lunch, and more happens to help build a godly relationship that lasts when they return home. Want to help? Sign up at triumphch.org slash prison. Be a hero. In about 60 seconds, for thousands who have leukemia, sickle cell anemia, or other blood diseases, bone marrow is their only hope. Now you can help. A simple painless Q-tip swab of your cheek can put you on the registry to possibly be the cure to save a life. Join us at the North Campus next Sunday from 2.30 until 5.30 p.m. to help save a life. Triumph has partnered with DMC to offer free care groups for cancer survivors and people dealing with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Community Network Services will also offer the power of positive thinking so you can flip the script on some of the negative thoughts and feel your best. Register now at www.triumphch.org. The Mighty Men of Valor Men's Choir is getting prepared to sing with the award-winning Rance Allen on Palm Sunday and this Saturday at 11 a.m. is the first of only two rehearsals. All men, join us after morning manna because we need your voice. No experience is necessary. So whether you're a tenor, bass, baritone, or no tone at all, we can use you. So join us March 21st. After rave reviews of Saving the Dream, T.J. Hemphill presents his second Triumph stage play called Road to Resurrection, April 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It's based on a sermon by Pastor Kenlock. This play follows Peter as he struggles to understand the impending death of Jesus. Free admission with ticket. Tickets available beginning March 22nd. Limit two per adult. Life skills, character building, Improving academics, teen depression, and more will be the topics for a three-week workshop aimed to share points of practice for success and well-being for parents and teens. Thursday, April 16th, 23rd, and 30th at the East Campus, a free dinner will be served at 5.30 p.m. and the 90-minute session begins at 6 p.m. Register now at triumphch.org slash parents and teens. Coming up, mark your calendars. Coming up on Palm Sunday is the Rance Allen Group with our men's choir and Paul Morton. Saturday, April 4th is Psalmist Beverly Crawford. And April 5th, Easter Sunday, is the biggest selling gospel artist of all time, Kirk Franklin. For three services, 8 and 11 a.m. at Cobo Center and at 9.45 a.m. at CompuWear Arena. You can stay up to date. For more information on Triumph News, visit triumphch.org.